Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Savannah Crisley ex-fiancé Nick Curdiles dead at 29 Savannah Crisley's ex-fiancé Nick Curdiles is dead at the age of 29. This shocking news just came out from TMZ. Fans are surprised to hear this news. He was on their show Crisley Knows Best and was very close to the family. Nick Curdiles passed away in a motorcycle accident on Saturday morning. It happened around 3.30 a.m. It is reported that he ran through a stop sign in a residential area north of central Nashville. He hit the side of a BMW with his motorcycle and was taken to the hospital. He later died from his injuries. The other driver did stop immediately when Nick hit their vehicle. It doesn't appear that either driver was impaired at the time of the accident. Last night, Nick posted a picture of himself on his Instagram story showing that he was out riding around on his motorcycle. TMZ also confirmed his DOB with the police. You can see the pic that he posted below. Nick was seen on Crisley Knows Best while he was dating Savannah Crisley and also engaged to her. The couple later split but remained friends for a while. It was eventually revealed that they were no longer speaking. It is really sad that these two didn't work out. Savannah Crisley and Nick Curdiles were engaged from 2018 and 2020. They eventually broke off their engagement and split up. She has since moved on, but if he has started dating anyone new he has never shared that news. Savannah admitted that when they got engaged she knew it shouldn't be happening, but they were filming for their reality show and she said yes. She did say that she was in love with him, but they had a lot of work to do before they should have been getting married. Nick has been working as a real estate agent in Nashville. He posted on his Instagram about his business and also his family, which he was very close to. TMZ reached out this family and also Savannah, but was not able to get a statement from either one of them yet. The fans would love to hear from them directly.